Let's look at the Wiggins and Crosstone uh, typology. It was created in 2011 by Andrea Wiggins and uh, Kevin Crosstone, and it's from a human computer interaction perspective. It was based on analysis of 80 factors of different projects and then creating a cluster from them so you can identify a specific set of groups. And the typology is paying attention to the organizational and technical environment within which research is being carried out as a way to help designers. So it identifies five types, action-oriented, conservation, investigation, virtual, and education. Let's look at each one of them. The action project, they are identified as usually bottom-up, they are usually community-led and with the scientists as consultant or advisors. And in terms of the scientific aspect, the production of new papers or new scientific knowledge is less important and they are issue-based. They are trying to identify a specific problem. They are usually localized organization and there is minimal use and a lot of repurposing existing tools. So we have an example of that, say with the flood monitoring network, where people installed uh, gauges at the end of their garden, where the uh, river or a stream is flowing, and that helps in creating a local network. It's bottom-up, they are coordinating it by themselves, and they are also managing it all by themselves. Conservation projects are the next step that support stewardship of natural resources and management goal, and primary area is in ecology. They are usually using the data for environmental management, and they try to cover a large area. A lot of time they are being run by research bodies or by environmental NGOs, and there is a wide range of tools that you can see being used within them. So, an example of that is the British Trust of Ornithology a Breeding Bird Survey, which has been running for many years, and it's covering very specific areas around the country in order to understand the pattern of a bird distribution and their activities across the country. Investigation project are uh, aimed, are focused on scientific research goals, so they are require either data collection and that require data collection from the physical environment, and they fit a lot of time the classic definitions of citizen science. They have a scientific outcome and they are tend at aiming to covering both in terms of sampling and uh, coverage they have usually a top-down infrastructure and they will have different types of technologies. So the Monarch Butterfly project, where people are recording the pattern of movement of the Monarch Butterfly in order to understand their lifestyle and the way that uh, their life cycle is operating, is a good example of that. Virtual project, or can happen across different areas of science. They are usually have a strong scientific aspect, so they are aimed at, at ensuring high quality data. Lots of time they will use crowdsourcing method, and uh, they would usually run by research bodies, and they uh, can have complex technological apparatus. With Galaxy Zoo, where volunteers are classifying images of galaxies and helping astronomers to understand the uh, aspects of galaxy creation and so on is a good example of that. The final example uh, of the typology is educational project that education or the increasing awareness to an issue is the main thing. And the goals sometimes override uh, the scientific aspects of the project. There will be different technology um, and there is an increased use of technology for data entry tasks. 
And a good example of that is the UK uh, Big Garden Bird Watch, where it is aimed at children and increase their interest in birds. When we looked at the typology in a wider sense, we can notice that uh, it's excluding something called volunteer computing, where people are providing their computing resources for scientists to engage, and they also uh, don't include activities like passive sensing because they assume a certain level that um, engagement, that it's minimal in order to be included in citizen science. Um, some projects that come along later on are difficult to classify because they are between infrastructure and physical environment. And the typology uh, demonstrates the challenges of balancing domains, technologies, and organizations.